As humanity creeps ever closer to an extended mission to another planet, especially Mars, several logistic questions are bound to pop up. How do you keep people from arguing in tight confines for the three months that it takes to get there? Is freeze-dried food for that long going to affect psychological stability? Is sex in space as weird as it sounds? Also, what happens if someone dies a week or two into a month's long journey? Astronauts are carefully vetted beforehand to make sure that everyone's in excellent physical and mental condition, but you just never know. Injuries, unexpected illness, maybe even murder. No matter the cause, the remaining crew would have a body on their hands, and that requires a solid plan. At least you'd think so. It turns out that NASA only has vague notions of how to handle a crew death during a mission to Mars. As it stands, they've spent more time training for family and press notifications than for actually handling the corpse. Space launches cost $10,000 per pound, so coffins or any kind of embalming tools have been left out since the beginning of manned space travel. The most obvious first guess is that they just released the body into the frozen eternity of space. But it turns out that things aren't quite that simple. There's a United Nations agreement in place to prevent littering in space, and that may include bodies. It's not as though anyone's around to report the violation, but it's still technically against the rules. Maybe. Catherine Conley at NASA's Office of Planetary Protection says that currently there are no specific guidelines in planetary protection policy that would address burial of a deceased astronaut by release into space. So, it appears that a burial in space is still considered to be an option, UN agreement or no UN agreement. But it's still not quite that simple. A jettisoned body would become a frozen projectile that might threaten the spacecraft itself. Unless the body was outfitted with a rocket engine, it would continue to follow the path of the spacecraft from which it was released. That might cause problems for the current mission or subsequent ones. That's not to mention the morbidity of having a potential slew of frozen bodies following the craft along an interstellar highway between Earth and Mars. Or the body might impact Mars itself, or another celestial body and then you've got a severe contamination risk. NASA goes to great lengths to avoid polluting the universe with Earth bacteria, and an unguided, potentially diseased corpse could be a planetary disaster just searching for a target. Earth microbes can survive in space, potentially for long durations, and contaminating a foreign planet could affect any burgeoning native life that might be struggling to evolve. To put it very lightly, that would be a real shame. For those reasons, releasing the body into space is not likely to become the go-to procedural plan. For reasons of hygiene, storage space, and crew morale, the corpse would also probably not be stored intact aboard the spacecraft. Keeping it cold wouldn't be a problem, but NASA is concerned about the physical and mental health of the surviving crew if members had to drift past a former colleague every day. If the death was caused by a contagious disease, or was unexplained, even frozen cold might not be enough to save the crew. And space is at such a premium aboard these machines that the deaths of two or three crew members would turn into a logistic nightmare, even if there was no risk of further infection. So what do they do then? Do they strap the body to the outside of the craft like the Griswold family truckster? Do they cremate the body somehow? Well, cremation is a non-starter. A fire aboard a sealed spacecraft with nowhere to escape to is among the greatest fears for most astronauts, not to mention the necessity of large amounts of precious oxygen that would be required to keep the fire going. And the weight and size of a crematorium vessel means that one of those will not be part of the final plans for a populated Mars craft. Despite how it may appear though, NASA has not actually ignored this question entirely, and that's where things get weird. The best solution at this point comes from a study done in 2005 by a Swedish ecologically conscious burial company called Promessa. The company developed something they call the body bag, which is a heavy Gore-Tex bag designed to stay pliable in extreme cold. In Promessa's study, the procedure worked like this. Step 1. Place the corpse in the body bag. Step 2. Place the body bag and the corpse outside the craft for one hour to freeze solid at minus 270 degrees Celsius. Step 3. Using a robotic arm, vibrate the body back and the encased corpse for 15 minutes, or until the remains completely shatter into dust. Vents in the body back will allow any remaining water to evaporate into space. At that point, the average 185-pound astronaut would be reduced to roughly 55 pounds of cold, dry powder. The sealed remains can then be more easily stored somewhere aboard the craft without risking the crew or forcing them to see a corpse every day. If all this sounds a little creepy, that's because it's very creepy. According to a Promessa representative, if and when it becomes a reality, we will have to go into the details with NASA and a team of engineers. There will be a number of challenges to solve, I'm sure. 
A number of challenges indeed, but that's the most likely plan so far. NASA astronauts are trained to deal with numerous ad hoc situations that don't have formal procedures, and a crew member death might just fall into that category if the PROMESA plan doesn't turn into the prescribed method. Space travel simply requires letting go of several long-standing human taboos, and handling the dead might just have to be one of those things. I also wanted to talk about plans for disposing bodies upon landing on Mars, but that turned into too much stuff for one video. So maybe this is part one of a two-part series if you have an interest in hearing about that as well. Let me know in the comments. And while you're there, hit the old like button and subscribe for more from the Wild AC channel. Thanks for watching.